So, since I talked about Postgres SQL, um, I thought I should just show you how it also works. Okay. Um, initially, I was going to ignore it, but now I realize I should probably just show you how it works. So, we're going to talk about working with Postgres SQL or database. Okay. So, if I should launch it like this, now you, if you want to work with the interface itself, then you would have to um, download it and install it. But if I should launch it, first thing is it's going to ask me to input my password. Okay. I need, it needs to authenticate. It's a database. So, I would have to input my password. And then when I hit OK, then it will allow me to access the databases and everything that's inside it. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to I'm just going to show you a little about. So basically, it I have several databases here. Okay, these are databases, and let me work with one. If you open a database, there are several parts of the database. I'm not going to bore you with all these ones because some of them you may not even bother using them because you're not working with the inter interface. So what I want you to understand is inside the database you have a schema. All right. So you have well by default you have a public schema okay you can have um you can have um you can create your own schema just by right clicking and creating a schema you can create your own schema and so inside a schema you have tables and more okay so that's where you have all your tables okay remember we, we created one called persons except that it was not a postgres um, database so you will not find it inside this postgres database okay it was under sqlite so this could have been person, this could have been customer, this could have been student, this could have been country, this could have been. So, yeah, these are all databases, okay, um, tables. And each table has data or each table has rows and columns. So, you can see it has rows and columns. Let me just display it in this way, view the first hundred. And let's see. Good. So, you can see that it has... It's given us um, information that it contains this country it's given us all the information it contains the names of the countries the ISO numbers etc etc okay so in this way you can be able to access things you need from it and this is the code it used to get all this right so basically that's how SQL works just wanted to give you um, an idea just wanted to give you an idea of how um, it all works okay so that anybody who has no idea can at least imagine how it works. Um, this is the script. If you want to say do do stuff on SQL, I could just say select. So remember, I said it's, it's not case sensitive. Okay, select star from this table districts. Okay, so it's under Ghana schema, Ghana dot districts like this. And when I run, it's going to give me everything. Okay, I could say select. Uh, what do I need? I could say select district instead of districts. I could say select district. That's the name of the column, okay? And if I run, it's going to give me only district. So this is the SQL code, okay? This can be made into caps like this, all right? The red ones are basically keywords, okay? They can be made into caps like this. And if you run, it's still going to give you the same thing. All right, I hope you, you get the general idea. First, you need to log in, then you can go on. So first, what I want to do is I want to show you how you can work with a uh, Postgres SQL. So for instance, let's try by creating our own um, our own database. How about that? Let's create our own database from Postgres SQL. And then let's connect it to our Python. Um, so I'm going to create a database like this and I'm going to call it persons. Remember we work with persons, right? Okay, persons like this. And um, we are going to keep the default. So remember the owner is Postgres, okay? The owner is Postgres, keep that default. And maybe we can, um, let me see if there's any other thing I want to add to it. Okay, so that's fine. This is the code. If you wanted to run it, with, create it with the code. So if I just click on save, it's going to create, um, sorry. All right, cool. Why is it slowing down? Okay, good. It's going to create a database called persons here. Okay. Oh, please stop making noise. Oh, bit of my data. All right. So it's going to create a database called persons like this. Okay. So I'm going to cancel this all. I don't need this. So 
this person has a schema and i remember i told you it has public schema so with this let's try to create a table or what do you think so to do that you will need a library call we will need to import a library called cycle pg cycle like this cycle pg all right so um for those using other ides remember you would need to probably install this library but those using anaconda spider you are good to go just import it and it, it should be there if it's not there in the event where it's not there just come to search for anaconda prompt like this run it as an administrator okay then you can say conda install install psycho pg2 like this and then you hit enter make sure you have internet connection and it should it should install all the libraries whatever library you give it to install you can also say pip install whatever you want to install okay so you give it some time and my internet connection is not so strong so okay so but if you have it we can proceed so like i said you just import psycho pg2 and if you have it then we can go ahead to try and authenticate ourselves by um first you need to make a connection right remember so we'll say connection it's just the same formula okay so connection equals to psycho um oh, oh I keep spelling it wrongly psycho pg2 dot connect and so over here let me just bring this down here you need to pass in some parameters okay first you need to give it the host or uh, what's what's called the host name so the host is called um remember it's a local host okay it's a local host it's not it's not uh, an online thing okay so if you give it the host then what you have to also add is the name of the database okay so i would say database remember we created a database called um what was the name it was called persons right person just to be sure i think it was called persons yeah persons with an s let me just be sure so you have to make sure where is it um uh, persons yeah it's called persons okay like this and then you finally pass in your password remember you need a password for it okay so i'm just going to put in my password here like this okay and um so if the connection is done you can just say print um connection successful like this okay and remember at the end of every day you have to always come back and close hope you remember okay all right so let's run if it will okay no no password not it's a small p not capital p password like this it didn't tell it who is using it so let's say user it calls to you know i'll say um it was postgres remember that's the name of the user who created the database okay so the user was called postgres then comma here all right let's try that again and see okay so connection successful it means we've been able to connect to our database so now whenever you connect to your database what do you want we want to in this case our database is empty right so we can create a casa here so let's create a casa remember you always need a casa okay because connection dot casa like this so you can say casa dot execute so basically we're going to do the same thing we did in the previous code so i don't know if it's necessary to redo all those stuff so um i think i'll just take it with you Be patient and take it with you to so execute i'll pass in the sql code here so i'll say create table create table and i'll call the table person okay and person has three values right person takes a what a name which is a text right so text like this takes 
an age which is an integer right and what a height which is uh, a real number how about that okay so we're going to create a table like this and below the table we're going to say cursor dot execute when we create the table we're going to write to the table so let's add some code that will add values to the table insert into then the name of the table person okay then we bring its column names age and height like this then we'll say value these values and comma like this and outside that I'm going to pass in some let me give it Justine um, H H H so let's say 12 and height 140 centimeters okay 140 centimeters like this and after that you can see connection dot commit right so I to save it how about that oh, okay problem syntax error um okay so one difference is uh postgres doesn't use comma comma it doesn't accept this comma comma here so what you have to do is use percentage s percentage s and percentage s okay like this that's uh that's how this one works so over here you can see it's successful at the end of the day we don't have any kind of errors so you could read from it but before we read from it let's try to see what we have inside our um our person's database so i'm going to refresh it like this and i'm going to open its table its schema inside a public schema i'm going to check the tables now you can see we have something called person here we didn't let's view okay let's view the first let's view all rows so i think for now we should have just one row right we have this one row here if i should run it again this time with let's give it a different value viewer um and i say my viewer's age is probably 25 and it's also my my height and then i run it again it's going to go and it's going to so let's refresh again and see and then view where is the view where is the view over here uh, oh, okay relation person already exists yeah sorry so um i was supposed to turn this off so that it doesn't have to always create every time okay so i was just supposed to like append or so it's it's if I run it several times, it will repeat the data several times for me. So let's just refresh the table and let's view it again. Good. So you can see that it has repeated all the things we've been adding from the Python database. database okay. Okay. So now that you are done writing to um, the database, we are going to and we've committed. So let's make sure I commit. Okay now let's try to write to I mean to read from so I'll call it read from the database like this and so using the same cursor so using the same cursor I'll say cursor dot execute remember you're going to keep execute another command so execute select star from or you can make it caps like this from um, person like this okay and I will say um, I could just say rows equals to cur dot fetch all okay dot fetch everything if you are expecting one but you can say dot fetch one but if you're expecting a lot you can say cur dot fetch all and you can say print um, rows like this all right so let's try that and there you go you have these values okay so you can put them into a loop because it's a list okay so you can say something like 
for R in rows like this, just like we did in the previous one, print R like this. And so when you run it, you see that you have this, all right? So that's basically it. So at the end of the day, what you have to do is you need to close the cursor, cursor.close, okay? Close the cursor, then you close the connection. So yeah, that's all. All right.